What's up? What's going on? Welcome to JXT live on Twitch with the J stick. JXT. And I'm here today. Very excited. Look at that. I got it all set up. I have this with me. The Beast from the East. Bam, bam, Bigelow. And it's a little bit of controversy surrounding it, but I'll get into that. So, we are unboxing WWE Legends Series 11. It says up top there, Bam Bam Bigelow. Now, I got this from Amazon. And when it came, all that came in was this bag. That's it. And it's just bubbles. Shitty bubbles. Stuff all. So when I opened this said bag from Amazon, uh, the figure, or well, the box that the figure came in was, I felt it, and I looked, I'm like, that's not my Bam Bam. And I picked up the package, and I could feel it, that it was squished already. So I opened it, and look, you can see it there. That's the top. This is how it came. Like, completely smashed. And look at that. So, um, if I did want to keep this in the box, no use. I'm going to open it now, I guess. And, yeah, so if you buy figures and you want them mint on card in the box, do not buy them off Amazon. That's what's going to happen to it. It's going to come in like not all smashed and bullshit, really. Got a knife anyway if we need it. But, um, what do we say? Let's bloody open this bad boy. I apologize for this camera angle, not this camera angle, sorry, for this camera not being the clearest, this lower camera that I've got, but it is my secondary. All right, so I guess it's already half opened, fuck. Um, I like to open from the straight edge. So there we go, get the knife in there, cut the tape. Just falls straight open. There we go, where is it, that way. Didn't forget anything. Cool little backdrop if you need it, or if you want it for something. But we can yeet that away. It's all smashed anyway. Look at the, look at how like straight. Like, even the inside bubble is fucked up. So anyway, this is. I'll read the box. This is. Ugh. So as you can tell, it comes with the ECW television title. Bam Bam Bigelow. This is what it says on the back of the packaging. Um, titles. ECW Champion, ECW TV Champion, and the WCW Tag Team Champion. It's odd for such, like, he was in that era where he was like, he almost didn't need a title. Like, he was always, I guess, a draw card on his own in a, in a lot of ways. It says here, the triple threat dominated ECW during its top years in the late 90s. In no small part to its big man, Bam Bam Bigelow. Known for being a ruthless brawler as well as an agile giant, Bigelow's most infamous moment in the land of extreme took place at the Living Dangerously pay-per-view. His opponent, Taz, they've written Taz with two Zs, locked in his dangerous submission finisher, the Taz Mission, with one Z. In a desperate attempt to get Taz, two Zs, off his back, Bam Bam fell backwards, violently crashing through the mat. Bigelow had just enough energy to climb out of the broken rig, drag his opponent and cover him to become the new ECW TV champion. I'd argue that when they went through the stage at Heatwave was a bigger moment, but anyway. Um, we're not going to critique Mattel on their ECW history, because as I'll go into here, there's not much. But, yes, I did wear my original franchise Triple Threat Shane Douglas t-shirt. Where is it there? It's got the ECW original logo on it. Very rare and hard to find. Go for a little bit of money. Got that off Vance Adams, actually. But, um, yeah, there's our package. Um, I do love having him in the grey here. Uh, I'll go through other Bam Bam figures in a sec, but let's just open it for a sec. So, because of that, I'm going to take the title out first. Sort of just pops out. It always gets stuck in this little area. But there is our ECW TV title. Now, it sort of pisses me off, and you can see it there. I'll try and show you on the, on the big cam. Whoa, it should autofocus, but my paint job is really off. 
Um, you can see it's fine there, but on the side plates, like it doesn't, uh, you can't even read it properly. Like it is what it is, I guess. But I've been obviously looking at it and like, yeah, again, this is factory produced, so I don't expect it to be hand painted and be immaculate. But you can see there the champion red part doesn't really line up with the, I guess, the grooves of where it's meant to sit. But if this was a card and I was getting it graded and that would be like uh, cornering and edging, uh, I definitely wouldn't be getting a PSA 10. But the belts, like, I'm just glad to have this belt because there was some, for some reason, Jax could never do it. The licensing behind the design of the titles um, they couldn't get. So we never got this belt as a Jax figure and even a Mattel figure till now. Now they put it with Bam Bam. Yes, Bam Bam was ECW TV champion. No, he did not hold this title. So, again, but I love this design so much that when I designed our Mayhem Pro Internet Championship, which is still yet to be crowned, that is what I based the title off. So you'll see it's got the same, I guess, shape as this title and the same sort of look and yeah, the base of it, I guess. But that was the inspiration for the Mayhem Pro Internet Championship. But, all right, let's rip it open. Comes with hands, open hands, fist hands. Pull them out from the arms. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Now, again, factory produced, and not just that, I think a lot of this is Amazon's fault. You can see here on my B, there's a few, like, scuff marks already. Like, there's one there, one there. The edge of his B is sort of scraped off down here. So you can see that. Like, there's a smudge on it, which is like, is that from Amazon fucking up my package? Is that just from the factory? His head tat, look at that. Oh, yeah. Nice head tat. The Beast from the East. Um, I love, obviously, attention to detail. They got the red boots, which he did use. Um, it's always, I always find it funny that they use, like, the same size boots as every other figure, but the rest of him is, um, even his hands are bigger than most of the other, like, they have bigger pieces, but their feet sort of look little. But, um, mobility-wise, like, Normally these big figures, as you'll see with these Jax figures, have fuck all mobility when they're a thicker dude. But, yeah, he's got a big thick neck piece here. So putting his head back is sort of hard, but I don't know if it matters. He didn't have much of a neck. we got tats here. He's got his arm tat here. He's got his forearms. Um, yes, he wore this attire a lot, mainly in, w in ECW this Gray, even WCW, but he wore this gray more than he wore any other color in ECW. The orange got a run. I don't think he ever wore the orange with the purple, which he wore a lot in the, in the WWF. But um, there's his other tats. This was a prominent like Falcon. That's a classic tattoo that a lot of people have. Um, but yeah, I love this logo. People are arguing that it's upside down, but the reference pictures show that that's the way it's meant to be. Um, I'll whip out his hands here. I really, I think I'll keep. I keep all the hands in like a bin, but like, I don't have any use for them. All right, let's get these open hands on. I don't know what hands I'm going to use. I do like attention to detail. I am a super detailed person, <laughs> and it's got his like thumb tape on there, which I guess the references they used, he had them. But, um, yeah, this figure, I was originally like, yeah, I'm putting it in the WCW collection of mine because I have a Mattel WCW collection and a Jax-style ECW collection because there's no Mattel ECW figures or barely any. But this is my dilemma. I have this figure sitting in my Jax ECW collection. But, like, this figure is actually taller, which is odd. Jax height scales off. And he's not as thick, but I don't think he needs to be. I think he will sit, like, in amongst my Jack's ECW collection. I think he's going to look just fine. So that's where he will sit. Even though Bam Bam did have some awesome times in WCW, which I think are very underrated. Um, I am going to put him in with the ECW collection. That's just my personal preference. He obviously feuded a lot with this man here, Goldberg. Scales on, he was taller. Now, my problem with this belt 
was yeah, he never had this design. He had the pre, the title that looked like this one, which I it's just a Jacks, it's just a WWF winged eagle, but it was like designed. It had ECW television written on it, same design, which they got. I think were Reggie Parks belts, but. This belt, which Van Dam didn't really hold much either. He did hold it, but not much. But I guess I see. I always remember Van Dam having that uh, winged eagle looking belt. But um, so yeah, this again, this photo here. Yeah, he's not very mobile, but the big man. He needs those butterfly joints, like the joints in here, like the fucking Ultimates have. But yeah, doesn't really sit right. I'm not even gonna bother. I'm gonna give that belt to another figure. But I'm just. Two things that are awesome here. I get this belt for my ECW collection. And I get an awesome Bam Bam. Now there's the comparisons. Like I said, this is the Jax Bam Bam. Again, this is obviously early 90s WWF. Personally, I love him when he had the three Bs on his design. I love that they went with the silver. Because again, it would have been easy to do. Or not. Like They have done this look in the orange Mattel. Which I missed out on. I did try and get. But... I will find for you the Toy Biz Bam Bam. Sorry, Bam Bams. I think my Kidman's going to try and knock over every figure I have. Huh. These are... Where are they? Boom. Toy Biz. Bam Bam Bigelows. Look at that. So, obviously, this one, early 90s, Bam Bam, whatever. Cool figure, the head scan's cool. This one, I don't like Mattel's heads. I think they're... I hate that true effects. But, I don't know, if you tell me... I think his head's pretty spot on. Um, these Toy Biz figures are great. Now, yeah, there's a rumor. So, this is obviously the orange. Again, in ECW, he only wore really this orange and this blue. These Toy Biz figures look cool, but they suck. Because if you look at their joints... Their legs just like twist. They don't actually properly fucking uh, move up and down, which always sucked. They did it with Rikishi as well, like with Jax. Like I just want his, figure, his legs to go straight up and down. But again, see this? He's got blue flames. Now, he never wore blue flame boots. And here's the controversy that we don't know. Bam Bam definitely wore this. He definitely wore this orange flame attire, right? He definitely wore this grey one with the red boots. He always wore the red boots with the flames. Now there is EC, there is WCW promo pictures of Bam Bam and we're not sure if it's this attire or if it's actually a blue. Because the rumour is it's just really blue lighting and the grey attire has either been faded in the wash and lost a bit of its colour and just looks a really pale blue, but it's actually the grey. Because I still yet am to see a picture of him actually wearing blue. And we think that Toy Biz, just seen the reference photos they were sent, took it as the picture was quite blue and that his attire was blue. But yeah, I don't know. It's funny here because Toy Biz... A figure made in 1999 and a figure made in 2021 has coloured tats and the current one doesn't. But I'm not sure if he had colour in them or not. And if you look on this side too. Coloured tats and no colours. This one doesn't have his bicep tats. And you could almost argue that the Toy Biz figure has um, more design on the sleeve. <laughs> but, uh, uh, they're, yeah... Still fucking cool. I can drop those Toy Biz figures now. But yeah, in amongst other Mattels, like in scale, like there's him standing next to Terry Funk. Like, it makes sense. And yes, everyone, I'll get to your questions in a sec. Um, here is, he is against the Jacks Titan Tron. Again, he still fits in perfectly. And even next to like a Jacks Bubba. Bubba's not that tall, but even... You know, this Mattel figure's quite tall, which suits, which is great. And even see, I give Raven that ECW belt. Not that he held that one properly, but is what it is. Because that belt came with Terry Funk again. Mattel giving people the wrong belts. Um, here he is with my Jax. This is, now, this is who he's going to stand next to in the collection. 
Boom, my custom that I done myself with fucking tassels. Look at that. Custom Shane Douglas and no bow. It's not a Triple H. It's a Shane Douglas with, again, the custom ECW title that I painted myself. Look at that. Perfect. Fucking triple threat, baby. And then, um, but yeah, here he is with, look, Storm Collectibles Liger. The Liger's quite tall for a figure. But the Storm Collectibles figures are thicker. But yeah, there it is. Um, I'm very happy with it. And I knew I would, like, I paid overs to get this ship from Amazon because I don't think this set's coming out in Australia, sadly. So, um, yeah, but again, that head tattoo. Man, the beard, perfect. The face is on point and... Normally the true effects I don't like because it looks like they've been like spray painted, but they um they've really cleaned that up, Mattel. Tattoos are there, the fist tape the oh, sorry, the finger tape. You can fucking There you go. There's a fucking big, big bam bam. Let's get to these questions. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. JTAT, what's up? Thank you for following, I appreciate that. TVA, Fox Gaming, I never get my figures off Amazon, always get them off Go Figure. Yeah, I should have, but I was waiting for this to be released. And there they all go, amazing. I was, I couldn't, like, I was waiting to hear, and then I seen it was selling out everywhere, and I never saw it on Go Figure, so I just jumped at the only chance I had to buy it, uh, which was on Amazon. Um, in the past, I've bought figures from Amazon. I didn't have an issue, but this one, of course, didn't yeah, come up to scratch. Jugs Bunny, love the name. Hey, uh, you like it, which I love. The logo has been done both ways. The he, orange attire, he flipped it. Yeah, so that bet, the triple B, which you're talking about, which, yeah, I'm used to looking at it like that, and I think because of the figure. Plus, I think that looks proper, to be honest. But like, cause it, to me, it reads like BBB, whereas the upside down is a bit odd. Really cool logo anyway. I always love monograms and shit like that, especially with designs. I love this fucking shirt too. But, um... you Jugs, if you can send me, DM me on Instagram that pic of him wearing the ECW TV title as in this design. I would love to see it. Robert, g'day, how are you? Nice, oh, my day's been great actually for once in a lockdown. Um, the bird is not colored on his actual tack. Perfect on your jugs with the details. You want that Raven? Yes, this is easily the best Raven figure um, ever. And luckily for me, I have that Raven. Boom. Mint on card as well, you little beauty. Um, now, nah, jugs. So the joke is Bo always calls Shane Douglas the ripoff Triple H when he's not. But um, I, it's a custom. It's a it's a Gene Snitsky body with an edge head that I molded cheeks and goatee and painted, and I custom made all these tassels and stuff. But yeah, I painted and custom myself. Aussie, what's up? Good to see ya. But um, yeah, no, don't worry, Jugs. I know who you are. But yeah, thanks everyone. Thanks for checking out the um, this unboxing of this. Boom, awesome, Bam Bam Bigelow. I am going to put this on my YouTube channel, so if you're watching it there, check out my other videos, including my best of JXTV movie that I made, vlogging all my wrestling matches. And remember to follow everyone Mayhem Pro, which is has the title here that I designed myself, that is still up for grabs at our next show whenever Melbourne gets out of lockdown. 